everything that's being displayed about Africa and Ghana in general is totally false. Me and me and my wife, Kiana, we are we are a bit of a traveler. Okay. We've been all around the world, yeah. and one thing about Ghana is a different so so many other places we've been to is that it feel natural it feel yeah. like home home mm -hmm. you know i don't have to worry about somebody just uh feeling i'm a threat i feel like i'm just part of the land and part of the people yeah it, it's, it's really common you meet people that looks like you yes <laughs> yes yes you know um, just coming here and just seeing people just act like I've seen a couple of relatives look like <laughs> here. But, you know, I'm really happy and really ecstatic about being in Ghana. And okay. it's true that you need more than a week. You do. <laughs> you have only a week, yes, right? Yes, We've been yes, here a sad. week and we need more time. Yes. So we, we did think about doing real estate and, you know, we didn't know we were going to end up here doing real estate for the first time, but here we are. Yeah. Welcome back to the Royal Kingdom Estate Platform. This is the Madeline Experience, and my name is Lydia. I'll be your host for today. So today, we have a lovely couple from Michigan. They're here with us at the Royal Kingdom Estate Office, and I'll allow them to introduce themselves. Hello. Hi, I'm Kiana. Hi, and I'm Robert Doris. Um, it's nice to have you here with us. I just you know, want to know a little bit about you. Can you give us a brief background about you your journey how it has been just speak to us talk to us well we're actually here on a vacation this okay. is our anniversary nine years oh uh, we are from michigan uh, we were both born and raised in the city of detroit okay. uh, we currently live in clinton township michigan now with our four beautiful children it's nice um, well you don't look it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can you tell us something about yourself? Oh, yes. I am. Hi, like I said, um, I'm from Michigan, born and raised in Detroit. Um, I met my beautiful wife in high school, and we reconnected at a 10 year reunion. Yeah, and, we did. And we started this wonderful journey uh, together. And we wanted always to get into real estate and some platform. And by us coming to uh, Ghana, uh, provide us a great opportunity to get into that platform. Yeah. So this is our first time here okay. so on vacation. Uh, we came to visit uh, our relatives, Bridget and Gregory. They welcomed us into their home. Uh, our stay here has been beautiful. Great. It has been beautiful. Uh, the people here are they are just beautiful people. Everyone is I'm so happy nice. to hear that. <laughs> and you know, we, we did think about doing real estate and you know, we didn't know we were gonna end up here doing real estate for the first time, but here we are. Yeah. Oh, you know, um, me and me and my wife, Kiana, we are we are a bit of a traveler. Okay. We've been all around the world. Yeah. And one thing about Ghana is a different so, so many other places we've been to, is that it feel natural. It feel yeah. like home. Home. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have to worry about somebody just uh, feeling I'm a threat. I feel like I'm just part of the land and part of the people. Yeah. It, it's it's really common. You meet people that looks like you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, um, just coming here and just seeing people just act like I've seen a couple of relatives look like <laughs> here. But you know, I'm really happy and really ecstatic about being in Ghana. And okay. it's true that you need more than a week. You do. You, do. you have only a week, yes, right? Yes, We've been yes, here yes. a week and we need more time. Yes, and, <laughs> and I see what they mean. You need, you need more just to embrace the culture. Wow. Yes. Um, I, I was just going to ask you, what influenced your decision to come to Ghana? You spoke okay. about real estate. Can you well, probe deep into that? Well, I said what makes us want to come to Ghana is just that urge of seeing. You see the perception of what Ghana or Africa is being portrayed in the in the media and the real estate. Yeah. When you come here, it's nothing like nothing that at all. Nothing like that at all. It's, it's nothing like that. So, at all. what is the reality? What are you experiencing? Oh, everything that's being displayed about Africa and Ghana in general is totally false. 
Like, can you give us an example? Yeah, like, um, as far as that, Africa is more developed than being displayed. Mm -hmm. A lot yes. of stuff that, you know, a lot of stuff, even with the homes, the uh, foundation, the culture, the food, is more so, um, I can see a lot of uh, it being developed, you know, especially like I said, like, uh, it's just not like it's being displayed. Okay. Do you plan on relocating to Ghana? Uh, the, uh, eventually, yes. Eventually, oh, yeah. maybe during retirement. Well, well actually, you know? <laughs> uh, actually, I was talking to my cousin about it, and actually, seeing my job can relocate. That's yeah. good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> seeing my job can relocate. Yeah. That's the big. That's the big puzzle to the piece. Uh, big piece of the puzzle is, as far as uh, yeah, if I get employment. employment to relocate here. Oh. But once I figure that out, and boss yeah. having uh, real estate here, it'd be an easy transition. That's nice. Did you get to know about Royal Kingdom Estate through, you, you mentioned your relative, um, Bridget, yeah. through her or any other means? Can you talk to me a little about that? Well, um, when, when my cousin first introduced, uh, well, first told me about uh, Royal Kingdom, she introduced me to me a video on the WhatsApp app yeah. and about uh, uh, landing and uh, landing. And I look yeah. into it. I looked into it and I was already, when she told me about it, I was already sold. Yeah, <laughs> we were. And that's nothing. Like if we were back at home, yeah. you know, looking into property, we would have been a little hesitant. You oh, know, you were actually looking into properties before you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, going to buy some land and get into property back at home. But when we got here, it's like we had that extra push. Okay. You know, yeah. guys seeing come. their experience yeah. and, you know, how they're interested and they're getting land. So, you yeah. know, we can jump on that wagon too. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. Yeah. And do you think it's a good decision? You think you you made the right decision, or? Well, I think uh, when actually meeting with Desmond and you guys, mm -hmm. I'm always I have I have no hesitation about it. Everything he was very uh, professional and courteous and knowledgeable about um, about the process. Mm -hmm. He relieved all my anxiousness about it. Yeah. Shout out, Mr. Desmond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was, um, like I said, I've been in real estate before, but here just. It seemed different. It seemed, seemed different. different. Yeah. Great. I prayed about it and I didn't get anything negative. I didn't, you know, usually I have all these thoughts in the back of my mind and I'm always telling Robert, well, I'm not sure, you know. And we should reconsider. Yes. Should we think? Yes. He knows. Yes. He knows. Uh, you, you know, <laughs> with this transition. I feel like that. So you can, you can say that after speaking to Mr. Desmond, you are convicted. You, know, you are convinced that you are getting your property. You are okay to relocate here, right? Yes. 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 We are okay. moving forward. With yeah. You. Yeah, yeah right. we are moving forward. It just now we're just going through the process of seeing um, how we want to do it and how what kind of property we want to build here. Yeah, sure. Well, Royal Kingdom Estate is here to help you with all of that. I'm sure, as you said, speaking to Mr. Desmond makes everything concrete. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, Kiana. So share with me some cultural differences and cultural shocks that you've experienced between USA and Ghana. Uh, USA is more fast food, you know, mm. things like that here. Everything seems more healthier. Food and vegetables. You know, the food that we've been eating and experiencing here has been awesome. You know, okay. it's not like back at home. Not saying that there's not good food there too, but you know, the food here mm -hmm. is really awesome. Can you share with me some foods that you've had? Ah, uh, we've had like foo foo oh. and uh, <laughs> some agouti. Uh, oh gosh, the fish here is awesome. That's good to know. Uh, yeah. Did you have to look yet? We did have jollof. We yeah. had a couple of things. So <laughs> you cannot remember. Have you had wache? Yes, yes we did have the, wache. The rice and the beans. The rice yeah. and the beans. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. We How did. about the gobe? Have you had it? The rice and beans. We had Sorry, the, the rice and gari, right? With the not plantain. Yet. Not, not yet. with the plantain oh, yet. But we think we still have a couple of more days. So we may. We got two, okay. two days left. Yeah. So. Sure. <laughs> Try that. Try beans with gari and plantain. 
can just go anywhere and say you won't go there and they're gonna search you out. Okay. Trust so we me, are you going like out it. to dinner tonight too, so yeah. we'll maybe try that there. I don't think you can have it at night oh, because really? it's gassy. So okay. oh. yeah. <laughs> we'll have to try it early, maybe or Friday early. <laughs> yes, you know, in the like brunch, lunch. Oh, that's yeah. Okay, that's Friday. the best time to have it. Okay. okay. Okay, now you said you are travelers, right? Yes. Yeah, can you tell us about some countries that you've visited? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, we've been to, like, during our first start of uh, traveling, we've been to, so far, we've been to uh, Grenada. Okay. Tokyo. Mm -hmm. London. Tahiti. Tahiti. Paris. Yeah. Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Bahamas. Yeah. Uh, but out of all those places we didn't been to, again, this by far beats the, the, the feeling. It does. Shout out to Ghana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you, you know, just, you know, even like I said, the, the, even though like the food is so much, like you said before, mm -hmm. so much natural. It is. Yeah. And, you, and you can taste it with every bite, the okay. freshness of it, yes. you know. And even like I said, even the actual difference from the grocery mart mm -hmm. to ours back home, you can see that it's... It has more of a fresh feeling, a fresh taste yes. to it. And a smell. Like I could just walk past the fruit and smell how fresh it is. And you, it's like you, a natural. It wasn't like that in all the places that you visited? No, no. no. Sometimes you can barely smell the fruit. You have uh, to literally put it to your and, nose. And then, to, you know, and then, like I said, this goes back to the perception of Ghana. Mm -hmm. It's as far as, like, it's the being underdeveloped. But like when we went into the grocery stores, it was very clean. Yes. It was, you know, very well organized, stuff like that. Versus when I went to the other countries that don't have that negative connotation of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there, there's what they had the, the, the wasn't organized. It, it has the insects inside the rest. The, uh, Shut up, Shagana. Yeah. Yes. What are you waiting for? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was, I was very, I was very impressed, and uh, and I was just being honest. I was ashamed. It took me so long to visit Ghana or back home. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. We have you here. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to have you here. Yeah. So I want to know your plans on um, relocating. Is it going to be a permanent, permanent stay or vacation? Let me, you know, well, throw me in on that. Right now, we're doing it as a vacation property. Okay. So we can always have somewhere to come back to, you know, bring our children to vacation. But eventually, maybe during retirement age, we may come back and stay permanently. Also, oh. I want I want to add to it. Uh, <laughs> and it also depends on my vacation time. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But, S sorry. Yeah. Keep, keep so about vacation time, but I know, like I said before, I want to, we want, if we can find out as far as getting our employment here and transitioning here. Yeah. It's something that we can make something that's happened uh, sooner than later. All right. I was going to ask, does your job permit it? What do you do for a living? Now, I'm in transportation. I work okay. for Suburban Mobility oh, okay. as a transportation company back in Michigan. And um, I actually work from home in the customer service department. Okay. So I'm not sure if I'm able to actually do that from here. But... Well, don't worry, when the time comes, we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, more so me, I work in the uh, manufacturing business. Okay. And um, some of our company sites have locations all over the world. I'm just trying to find that right that right position yeah. to come here. And uh, hopefully it, it can happen soon. So. We are really happy to have you here. And I am Thank glad you. to hear all the experiences, the the food, everything you're sharing with me. I'm actually proud hearing it because, mm -hmm. you know, we hardly hear things like this and I am just happy about it. So tell me about some places that you visited in Ghana. So we did visit, uh, visit the National Museum of Ghana. Oh, uh, it was very informative. <laughs> it told us a lot about Ghana. Some things that we didn't know, even though we did our own research. There oh. was a lot of informative things there. How was the feeling? Oh. How was the experience? The experience was great. Because when I was there, I had chills. Really? Looking at what um, Kwame Nkrumah did, went through his journey, yes, it was journey. chilling for me. The, yes. Did you feel that? Yes, just a little bit. Just yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, uh, I want to add to it that we went to the National mm -hmm. Museum, we seen the methods of their cooking, how it was, it was very, how they preserved their food without actually 
<coughs> without actually using chemicals mm -hmm. yeah. to mm -hmm. preserve their food. That's always a plus, you know, those chemicals have effects on our immune body. And it does. Yeah, yeah so, uh, but then we've seen the currency. The, oh, the, the, yeah, the, <laughs> the, Yes, so the, the uh, I want to say the beginning of the currency, how it mm -hmm. transitioned into now. Yes, all the time. Yeah, th that was very informative. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Also, too, that we stopped at a restaurant there. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did you have? That's where we had the jollof rice. That's yeah, where we had the jollof rice and, and some and fish there. And we had some fish there. Yeah. So. <laughs> try, the, try the beans. Try it, the gobe. You oh. will not regret it. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Have you visited any of our sites? Yes, we actually did. We went up to a brie yesterday oh, up okay. in the mountains and we looked at uh, some of the plots and the land mm -hmm. where we were going to purchase. Okay. It was beautiful. It, it was, was a sight to see. Yes. Only yeah. Gray City? You've not yeah. been to the view and no, we are, oh, yeah, well, yeah. But you know, when we went to the site and it just taking, we were so amazed, just taking in the taking view, everything in, yes. in the view. And I want to say again, I want to say I'm grateful that my cousin offered this, uh, introduced me to this opportunity. Shout yeah. out to the cousin. Yeah, <laughs> I took like a video of it on my phone and try to post it. Yeah. But it's not like actually being there. Mm, yeah, I know. You actually have to be the there to experience tell the truth. it. It does yes. not. So we are looking to purchase land. We've already picked out a plot. Uh, we're actually doing a family compound. So we're all going to be in a community together. Your family. So our family is going to be beautiful. together. So there's going to be not just one property. It's going to be a couple of property, multiple properties. That will be so fun. We're excited I'll, about I'll visit that. You. I'll yes, visit you. Yes, please just do. Tell me when it's ready. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. So all we're right. Working so on now. That. What do you have to tell the people back home? Just if you've always had the desire to visit Africa, this is your chance. You know, we've always talked about visiting Africa and, you know, coming to the motherland. And this experience has just been out of this world here. Yeah. So just come, just go for it. I tell everyone, don't worry about it. Just, just go for it. It's breathtaking. It is. It's it's breathtaking. It's, it makes you, like I said again, it makes you lose your words. Just coming in, take everything in. Yeah. A lot of time I was speechless and just being in because I was such an awe, just taking everything in yeah. and feeling back at home, you know. So that was really sweet. That was really sweet. And guys, if you don't know who to call, just contact Royal Kingdom Estate. We will sort you out with where to live, where to go, what to do. Who to meet? All too soon, we have to bring this episode to an end. And I want to say a big thank you to Kiana and Robert. This has been an interesting conversation. I look forward to seeing you again and, you know, having a new, different experience with you here in Ghana. Guys, this has been the Motherland Experience. Stick with us. Follow us on all social media platforms at Royal Kingdom Estate. Comment, like, subscribe, and share. It has been me, Lydia, your host for today. Bye-bye.